Welcome to Norton Chemistry. Today we're going to be looking at redox, which is one of the key topics in Module 2 of the A-Level Chemistry Specification. So oxidation numbers. An oxidation number is a number representing the number of electrons lost or gained by an atom. The definition of oxidation is the loss of electrons, and it leads to an increased oxidation number. So for example, when you have oxidation of aluminium to form aluminium 3 plus ions, the oxidation number of aluminium increases from 0 to plus 3 as it's lost 3 electrons. And then reduction is defined as the gain of electrons, and it leads to a reduced oxidation number. So for example, when you reduce fluorine by adding an electron to it to form fluoride ions, the oxidation number goes from 0 to minus 1, so there's some rules for identifying the oxidation numbers of elements and compounds and ions. So an element that is not in a compound has an oxidation number of zero. So for example, when you have hydrogen in its diatomic form as an element, the oxidation number is zero. And the second rule is that a simple ion of a single element has an oxidation number the same as the ionic charge. So for example, if you have a H plus ion, which has a charge of one, one plus, then the oxidation number is going to be plus one. The sum of the oxidation number of the elements in a compound is equal to the overall charge of the compound. So for example, if you have H2O, which of course is a neutral compound, then the oxidation number of hydrogen is going to be plus one, and the oxidation number of oxygen is going to be minus two, which if you add them together, gives you a sum of zero. And then the Another rule is that the charge on a complex ion is equal to the sum of the oxidation numbers. So if you have a NH4 plus complex ion, then the nitrogen is going to have a minus 3 oxidation number and the hydrogen a plus 1 oxidation number, giving a total of plus 1, which is equal to the 1 plus charge of the complex ion. The most electronegative element in the compound always has a negative oxidation number. So for example, Fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen, so in F2O, F takes the minus 1 oxidation state and oxygen has a plus 2 oxidation state. Oxygen is always minus 2, except in peroxides where it is minus 1, or fluorides where it takes the positive oxidation number. So for example, in hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen has a plus 1 oxidation state and oxygen has a minus 1 oxidation state. In most compounds it is minus 2 however. Hydrogen is plus 1, except in metal hydrides, where it's minus 1. So, for example, in magnesium hydride, the magnesium takes a plus 2 charge, and the hydrogen takes a minus 1 charge, because hydrogen is more electronegative than magnesium. Oxidation numbers are represented by Roman numerals when naming compounds. So, for example, in sodium chlorate 1, we represent the oxidation number of chlorine with the 1 Roman numeral, and we represent the element in the compound which has the variable oxidation state. So for example, you can have sodium chlorate 5, which you represent as sodium chlorate with a V for 5, which is the compound NaClO3. So we've got a question. Write the equation for the reaction of sodium hydroxide with chlorine and identify all oxidation numbers, including which element is oxidized and which is reduced. So when you react sodium hydroxide with chlorine, you form sodium chlorate 1 in the, when it's um, in the correct conditions, which is cold, dilute sodium hydroxide. You form sodium chlorate 1, which we said is NaClO, and you form sodium chloride and water. And then when we're doing the oxidation numbers, it's easy to set out like this, showing the elements on the side and then you can go through and identify each oxidation number so for example sodium in NaOH is plus one oxygen is minus two and hydrogen is plus one and we know that's correct because when we add them up we get a total of zero and it's a neutral compound then Cl2 is going to be zero because Cl is a single element on its own and then NaClO well we know that the oxidation number of oxygen is always minus two unless it's in a fluoride or a peroxide and then sodium is going to be plus one and chlorine is going to make up the difference. So minus two plus one leaves us with minus one. So we need to add an extra one to make it to zero because it's a neutral compound. And then in NaCl, 
Cl is more electronegative than sodium. So, so Cl takes a minus one oxidation number and sodium takes a plus one oxidation number. And then in water, oxygen is minus two and hydrogen is plus one. So we can see that chlorine has gone from zero in Cl2 to plus one in NaClO, sodium chloride one. So that is oxidation because the oxidation number has increased. And also Cl has gone from zero in Cl2 to minus one in sodium chloride, which is a reduction as the oxidation number has been reduced. Redox reactions involve both oxidation and reduction. Oxidizing agents cause oxidation of other species and so are reduced themselves. And then reducing agents cause the reduction of other species and so themselves are oxidized. So we've got a question. Identify the reducing agent and the oxidizing agent in the following reaction. So we've got HCl reacting with sodium forming sodium chloride and H2. So let's write our oxidation numbers. So plus one for hydrogen, minus one for chlorine and then zero for Na because it's in a single element on its own. And then Na is going to go to plus one and Cl is going to remain at minus one. And then hydrogen is going to go to zero as it's on its own. So we can see that hydrogen has been reduced because it's gone from plus one to zero. And sodium has been oxidized as it's gone from zero to plus one. So that means that sodium is the reducing agent as it's oxidized and hydrogen is the oxidizing agent as it's reduced. So we've got a question. Magnesium nitrate decomposes when heated as shown in the equation. So two moles of magnesium nitrate form two moles of magnesium oxide and four moles of nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. Using oxidation numbers show which element has been oxidized and which has been reduced when magnesium nitrate decomposes. State the changes in oxidation numbers, including all signs. So if we write out the equation again, it will make it easier to identify the oxidation numbers. So oxygen's always minus two, unless it's in a fluoride or a peroxide. And then magnesium, since it's in group two, it's going to form an arm with of Mg2+. Plus. So the oxidation number is plus two. And then we need to make up the difference with our nitrogen. So minus two times three for oxygen gives minus six. Times two is minus 12. And then plus two for the magnesium gives minus 10. So we need to make up 10 to get to zero. So then we need, so we have two nitrogens. So each nitrogen must be plus five oxidation number. And then in MgO, we have minus two for oxygen and plus two for magnesium. So neither of them have changed. And then in NO2, we have minus two for oxygen, but nitrogen is now going to be plus four because minus two times two is minus four. So we need to add four to get back to zero. And then oxygen on its own is going to be zero. So we can see that oxygen's oxidation number has increased from minus two to zero. So that's oxidation. And nitrogen has been reduced from plus five to plus four. So now we're going on to disproportionation, which is when the same element is both oxidized and reduced in the same reaction. And I'll go through it in a question example. So iodine can be used for the small scale purification of drinking water. Iodine reacts with water as shown below. So iodine reacts with water to form hydrogen iodide and HIO. Using oxidation numbers that explain why this reaction is disproportionation. So if we write the equation again, then we can identify oxidation numbers. So iodine on its own is going to be zero because it's a single element on its own. Hydrogen is going to be plus one and oxygen minus two in water. And then for hydrogen iodide, hydrogen is going to take the plus one oxidation state and iodine as it's group seven minus one. And then for HIO, we have minus two for oxygen, plus one for hydrogen, and that leaves us with plus one for the iodine. So iodine has been both oxidized and reduced as it's gone from zero in I2 to plus one in HIO, which is oxidation, and minus one in HIO, which is reduction. So when you're answering the question, you would just write that out and you would get the full three marks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my website. I've got lots of resources available including my A-level chemistry notes and flashcards, of which there are 899. You can also book a tutoring session, send me a message and I'll book you in straight away. Be sure to check out my other videos. I've got lots of module two revision videos to help you master A-level chemistry.